Guys, you may have noticed there's a bit of difference in the focus of the video. We do highly apologize. There's a bit of technical difficulties, uh, but we hope you guys enjoy the video anyway. <laughs> we uh, realized towards the end, um, but one of our main goals this year is we're not, are we going to say it? consistency? <laughs> so we're going to just so, so run guys, with it. If you guys are going to get blurry videos, you're going to get blurry videos. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I think today today is the only day we have an opportunity to actually record. Okay. It's, it's really late. Mm. And I think, you know, this video is coming out. Yeah. <laughs> so with further ado, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to Scope. I'm here with Fatah and Salman. How are we all doing? Bro, I'm good man, alhamdulillah, new year. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing's changed. <laughs> but it's, uh, I don't know man, I just feel good this year. You know, it's I don't know what it is. January 2023, yeah? It's a new beginning. But what I want to talk about is last year, 2022, I feel like for me it was a bit of a blur. I can't lie. And a lot of things happened. Uh, I'll get back to that in a bit. Salman, how was your 2022? It's all right, man. Do um, you know what I mean? I mean, I can't... Big I man can't, got married, man. I Come on. I can't, <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't think of anything uh, that really happened. Allah I mean, yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Mashallah, mashallah. <laughs> I find someone, she liked it. She put a ring on <laughs> it. Oh, oh, that's, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're talking about. Yeah, that's that's what we're talking like, about. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. I don't know, man. I, I just felt like it dragged, you know. Well, the year. The year just dragged, man. 2022 was just one of those years, man. It really did. Uh, in direct contrast to 2021, flew by. Yeah, and 2020. Not, yeah, and 2020. I did not feel it at all. Mm. But 2022, yeah. You know, funny thing is, yeah. End of, end of 2022, I, f I came back to Birmingham. You know I mean? It's like a long, you know, the, the homecoming. Mm. Yes, you sir. know what I'm saying? Like, I've gone on and off for about 10 years. Yeah. But Alhamdulillah, you know what? End of 2022, December. I was like home and just yeah, it feels 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 amazing, mate. I can't even lie to you. So this guy so you were got a married. I was a, yeah, basically. Yeah, we have a, uh, yeah, we have a traveler. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, that's an uh, inside joke. Uh, I don't know. Are we gonna talk about it or listen, listen, all right, all right guys, listen. I don't know why I don't know why this is so funny, huh? I don't know it's funny. Right now before before <laughs> listen. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to tell the story, all right, guys? <laughs> Before we're recording, I was like, Mandem, I've got a headache. I need to go get some fresh uh, yeah? Cool, cool. So, uh, I can I tell the story? Yeah, she yeah, can. All right, cool. You've got, you got a good heart, bro. <laughs> Let me tell the story. Let me go tell on, the story. Yeah. You lot decide if this is mad or not. So, I went. Uh, I was on the phone to my friend. I'm going down to Sainsbury's. And then this lady comes up. And it's like, yo, you know, can you... Can you um, <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can, you story, story, right. can you basically um can you bu buy my shopping for me and then i was on the phone i was i was having important conversations so i thought i thought like it's not a big deal i said yeah you know what, buy whatever you want it's calm no problem but who randomly says can you buy my shopping for me like what, what, what does that no, mean and then and then even worse who just says yeah buy whatever <laughs> you want <laughs> whatever you want I, sorry sorry peep daddy <laughs> <laughs> That's a pop daddy, but it's a cost of living crisis. Cost of living crisis. Just stop the mic. So listen, sorry, sorry for interrupting. So gone. She, she says, "Can I buy?" It? I thought, "Yo, say no more, no uh, problem." I thought she's gonna get a few things. Okay. I, I wanted to get a few snacks. You get yeah. me? We're all gonna eat, no problem. Uh, she goes, gets her basket. She starts filling it up, whatever. I'm on the phone, so yeah. I just barely glance. I'm not paying a lot of attention. Mm. Cool. Now I grab three things. Two, two biscuits, some apples, whatever, and I'm ready. <laughs> and she was, oh, and she kept coming back to me saying, is this too much? Is this too much? I'm like, no, 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 it's calm, whatever. Whatever, no biggie. Mm. We're in Sainsbury, it's not a big deal, yeah? Cool. It's not like it's weight heroes or anything. <laughs> and then um, and then she goes to the till, and then, uh, and then, and then she goes to the till, yeah? <laughs> and then, and then and she's like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, yeah, calm, 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 no biggie. And then when she goes to the, I buy my things, buy stuff in it, it's like seven pound, yeah? This see we see the table. Little drink, one little, one Should little be. cookie, one little uh, brown tea. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. Wait, wait, wait. And then, and then the guy just keeps putting food in the bags. I'm like, it's not, it's not finishing, bro. <laughs> so she looks at me. We're just having a little eye contact. I thought, yo, I thought necessities. I'm seeing like chocolates. And stuff. <laughs> you get me? So, but then I said oh, anything, yeah. And then the guy's like, yeah, all right, cool. That's 90 pounds, 35p. <laughs> I 
Nej, så det så er det små mænd, ja. Er det små mænd, ja. You know what, yeah? Like, it was like four or five of these bags. Allah. We just started. It's Sterling. Wait, wait. Well, like, f- fight or flight moment, Captain. <laughs> I said, Daddy, I'm a, it's going to be a fright. I'm going to run. I'm going to fight this. Oh, my God. I said, I said, I said, yeah, go on. <laughs> you know the ones where you can't even tap it because it's too much? <laughs> I couldn't even tap it. Oh my god, you had to remember me a bit, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I had to start, you know, I had to use that cognitive energy. <laughs> just, uh, oh in this <laughs> current game, <laughs> flipping, <laughs> we're lying. No, I just uh, thought, yo, <laughs> cost of living crisis, bro. She oh. thought, yo, I'm doing my weekly shopping, bro. We're lying. Oh, oh my god. So, anyway, long story short, beep, 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 beep. Nah. So man, this, this is the this is the bit you don't even know about it, yeah. <laughs> it's the worst bit. Yeah, listen, uh, why why did it go to Sainsbury's? Oh my thing! It went to Sainsbury's to buy paracetamol. Yeah. That I was the he- main thing. I had a headache. It had a headache, yeah. Wow. Yeah, where's the paracetamol, big man? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to buy it. <laughs> I still have a headache. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say expensive headache. Big man thing. Big man thing. <laughs> Alhamd- Alhamdulillah, you know. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> 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 it's, it's all about the right near. It's all about the right intention, yeah, guys. Inna mala amal bin near. Yeah, like I said, <laughs> good heart. Good heart. <laughs> It's a problem, it's a problem. Oh, man. Yo, listen, this, this weekend, oh, I've I got no peace for fuel, innit? <laughs> so you might have to pick me up. <laughs> I don't think Costco oh, is going to back me. But, um, bro, we've been crying for the past hour, bro. So <laughs> these are four, it was a funny story. And I said, yo, Jibs, you got to say it on the pod. So I was like, you know, oh, man. it is what it is, innit? Wallah, I haven't laughed like that in years. <laughs> yes, bro. In years. I appreciate it, but I think, I need to do She said, and it's just funding crisis. What crisis? Oh, <laughs> anyway, 2023, uh, <laughs> I'm starting off with charity. Yeah, I love, guys? I love the few. Mashallah. That, that, mashallah. That, that is, that, that is mashallah. the aim, inshallah. 2023 is starting mashallah. off with charity. Yeah. What else happened in 2023? Wallahi, we did an event. We had our first scope event. Yes, sir. Wallahi, yes, that was... Uh, I can't believe wow. it, man. Wallahi, we, we did it because we were talking about it for so long. Um, in 2022, we did a like a health health type of networking event mm-hmm. uh which was uh, i think it was in march and i think that's our way of just you know kickstarting everything off yes. um 100%. just giving giving every, <coughs> the, that community and then people who work in in nhs i don't know like just a little break from everything you know what i mean 100 percent. because before that covid hit us and there was a lot of things happening mm-hmm. And um, we thought, you know what, yeah, obviously a lot of healthcare professionals have been through it, <coughs> still going through it right now. So we thought we would give it, do something for them. But in 2023, like, we had a lot of feedback saying, yo, guys, we should do it for everyone as well. So we did what we do best, um, a networking event for everyone. Alhamdulillah, we did it in London. And uh, I want to say, like, it was, it was, I really, really enjoyed it. I, 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 it was amazing, like, it was absolutely fantastic to see how many people showed up couldn't imagine the number of people that came and um, yeah, well, uh, well, the well, the program we had as well like like obviously when you have an idea and then when you execute it and the way everything just happened and the, our panelists shout out Hafsa Hafsa and Wanda you guys did an amazing job well, I'm bad, yeah, yeah, no, I'm they, sm- they, they were so captivating you know what I mean no, it, was, it was amazing it was, it was genuinely amazing um and I, th- I, I, you know, obviously, it's it, it's it's the first of many, many, many to come. Inshallah. Inshallah. Uh, you know, <coughs> being in that space where you're just surrounded by 
people who are from a similar background to you, similar value system, and are just so widely accomplished, Allah in yeah, yeah, yeah. every specter of, 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 so in every sector you can think of, was such an inspiring thing uh, for me personally. I, I know you guys felt the same. Mm. <coughs> can, I, can I just say, uh, Salman, the way you hosted that panel, ah, Allah it, bro, it, Allah, it was amazing, man. It, you could, it, stop like, stop you it, could, you, you could hear a pin drop, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, do you know what it was? Yeah, yeah. it was, it was, je- bro, like, I forgot uh, at so many moments, I forgot that I was hosting a bro, like, I was just so engrossed and engaged in their story Absolutely. and in what they were saying and in their, you know what I mean, in their wisdoms and that. And, and, and it was really cool because their viewpoints were were contrasting but they weren't clashing mm. absolutely you know what i mean so they were coming <coughs> at times from very very different perspectives mm. but somehow they were very complementary you know what yeah. i mean so you know how you got two flavors you don't think go <laughs> together but it somehow it just works yeah. you know what i mean so it was incredible incredible um wonder abdurrahman you know and and, and the two hafsas in all their respective fields and they all came from different uh you know branches of of of, of business one uh, uh, was skincare and, and, and kind of wellness. The other one was, you know, textiles and and, and, and fashion and, and Wanda Abdurrahman. You know, um, he's in the, uh, you know, uh, wellness, uh, the... Uh, Hijama. And, Hijama and beverages. And, and beverages. So, you know, he's in that, you, you know, in that ecosystem. So it was really, really cool to hear that, you know, the insights and their history and how they got into it and, and you know, what, what entrepreneurship meant to them. So, yeah, it was really awesome. And I think, um, inshallah, we look forward to engaging with them in the future. I think, I think we're going to drop that one soon. Yeah, it's very, yeah, 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 we've got yeah, the footage. Yeah. We Shall need to drop that. Yeah. Now it was, it was, it was absolutely like, because <coughs> I was, I was out and around in the back as well and I could see everybody got very captivated and really enjoyed it as well. But obviously, I want to give a shout out to Hashim as well. Wow. Inshallah. Yeah, 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 mashallah. His, his segment on climate change. Yeah, I said it. Climate change. <laughs> it's different. Like, it's different and like, a lot of people, when I speak to them about climate change, is not even in the 20th or 30th p- place in the priority list of what we're doing right now. So for him to put in the perspective that he did and make us think about it, become very conscious about it, and the way he delivered it as well. Shout out Hashim. MashaAllah, you know, you did a great job. Beautiful, beautiful spin on it as well. <coughs> and, uh, the way he, he kind of put that Islamic uh, spin on it mm. was amazing because I think his aim when we were talking about it initially he was like i'm not trying to make everyone a greta <laughs> do you know what i mean yeah. uh, his aim was to make everyone conscious you know what i mean and and to kind of uh, start the conversation so that everyone who's at that event can can actually um go back to their respective you know communities and and know why it's important and if this kind of conversation did come up within their friendship or family circles they would be like hold up i actually no we we should care do you know what I mean? Um, and, and that's amazing. I, um, I was also very surprised about the amount of young, young brothers who were there. Yes, yes, yes. Do you know what I mean? Wow. You know, the, the 19, 20, 21, 22 year olds who were so motivated and, and they, they themselves were very inspiring. Now, there were so many youngsters who I did nothing in comparison to what they were doing, what they're doing today at their age, age, Allahum Barik. So uh, just to see that and for them to to kind of come to our event, you know what I mean? And and, and just... uh, It's very, very wholesome because like in previous events, um, we've had people in our age range, people that like professionals in, or, or like students or whatever we were back then, but it was always around that age group. <coughs> then I was seeing like younger, because you know what I mean? We're a bit older now than we were back then. Seeing younger guys have the drive, the hunger, <coughs> and take advantage of, you know, the people in the room. There were so many <coughs> people with different experiences and different skill sets. <coughs> and you know what it's like, like you know what I mean? You've got, you got the pick of the lot. Mm. But yeah, Alhamdulillah, you know what? It was, it was an amazing event overall. I really enjoyed the vibes, and if we, if we ho- hopefully you guys enjoyed as much as we did, and um, yeah, it was fantastic. But on that note, yeah, I wanted to say like, <coughs> when I saw all the young lads that came, or the few young lads that came, um, I saw, I saw myself in a lot of them, <coughs> in the sense that you know what, like, twenty-one, twenty-two year, twenty-two years old, um, and I wanted to, like, I wanted to ask myself, like, what would I say to myself? at 21, 22. Because I can speak to these guys now, right? And I can tell, give them a bit of advice or they can ask me questions. And um, 
what would what would I say to myself at that age to help me navigate through life? And I, I was contemplating that um, for a bit. And um, there are so many, so many different things that we value now, but we don't really, we, we never really saw the value of it back then, like work ethic, um, motivation, discipline, um, having a routine, and at the same time, enjoying life and being in the now, but at the same time, having a structure. Mm-hmm. What about you, Fatah? What do you think? I don't know. Well, I hear it. <coughs> that's, that's a deep, deep um, question because... I think it varies for everyone, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Um, that I think <coughs> me and Salman are both the elders in, in our families. You're the second eldest. So we're all guinea pigs, do yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, and there's so many different um, advice we would have loved to hear when we were younger, you know what I mean? Um, I think we're so, so goal orientated that we, we continue to just chase results. Mm. Um, and I think once you've kind of gotten to, to, the, to the goal or you've reached the, the results or goal, you, I don't know, you have this feeling of, is this it? You know? And I definitely had that when, when I finished uh, my medical degree. Um, and it is, it's just... Looking back now, I wish I had enjoyed the journey more. Mm. Um, but then, of course, it's cliche. Everyone says that, like, it, yeah, you should you should enjoy the journey and like just enjoy the pre- like being the present uh, present today and uh, you know whatever blah blah. It's very hard to do that, you know. What I mean, with so much societal pressures and and you know everyone expecting you to do. To be on uh, on top of everything, you know what I mean, um, and it doesn't matter. Uh, I was I remember reading reading this quote. Uh, I think it wasn't even a quote. I think it was uh, Yasmin Mujahid who was talking about her father and how he had a PhD and so many yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've seen that. I've seen that. Yeah, it, it, incredible. May Allah, you know, uh, grant her father genital firdos. Um, yeah. But she was talking about when <coughs> when he passed away and how people were speaking more about. Uh, how he touched people, you know what I mean? His character, um, his character um, how he made people feel and, and what he had done for them more than his titles, yeah. right? Um, and that got me thinking because human beings are so result-driven that if you're, if you're for example, now, look at, um, if you're writing your resume, mm. right? If you're writing your resume and you want to you want to get a job you you list all your accomplishments whether it's a degree whether it's projects you've done um whatever all the accomplishments you put them in your resume or your cv right um and no one cares about your effort because it's like you could have spent 45 hours on a, a certain project but no one cares about that it's like so do you have this yes or no right we're very result driven um and that's why we're, the way we, <coughs> the, the paradigm we look at things is from results. What are you doing with your life? Have you done this or not? Do you have a degree or don't you have a degree? Absolutely. What's your title? Do you know what I mean? Like, no one cares if you've got a good heart. No one cares if you, you know, how much effort you're putting into things. Um, and the older I've gotten, the more I've realized that's the dunya. And the more you chase the dunya, the more you're just chasing results and you're never happy. Right, then there is the akhirah, and the older you get, the more you realize, you know what? I should actually just focus on on, on my akhirah because I think we're we're overly focusing when we're in school, college, university, whatever, on the dunya. But <coughs> akhirah, you get rewarded not for results, but for your effort. Efforts. Ooh, Do you know what I mean? Definitely. So, like, the more effort you put in, the more that counts in, on your scale. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that is that is beautiful, like in Islam, and and we don't really take advantage of that. Um, I remember so a sheikh that was talking about how you know if everyone was told wake up six in the morning every morning and you would have thousand pounds if you wake up, right? Bro, nobody would miss that appointment, yeah, right? Of course. But 
when it comes to salah and when it comes to fajr salah, it's like you do 15 different alarms, you wake up on the last one, if you do, and it's just, it's, it's a struggle, you know what I mean? And then obviously there's the, um, <coughs> the struggle with the shaitan who's doing his job, <laughs> um, but the purpose of, of what, what I'm getting to is basically effort. The more effort you put in, the more you get rewarded for your effort. <coughs> and you go into Jannah because of the mercy of Allah. 100%. You know what I mean? It's not because of what you've done. It's because of the rahmah of Allah, you know? So all we need to do is just continuously work on it. And I think the younger you are, the more you should be conscious about that. That your, your effort, especially when it comes to the deen, even if it's small little steps... It's important, you know what I mean. And the old, the more I get older, and the more I th- that just becomes bolder for me. Like it's more highlighted. I think, oh, you know what? Happiness doesn't come from achievements because you see so many people mm. at work who are consulting level or whatever, and yeah. and there've been so many deaths, people taking and, and doctors taking their own lives, and and Spanish. they're earning amazing money. They've got their amazing careers or whatever and and they're still you know taking their lives so yeah there, there was like three deaths in in our hospital in the last i think year and it just puts things into perspective subhanallah so yeah that that was my i think biggest lesson for the for the for 2022 you know what i mean it, it was so highlighted because there was so much good happening in our hospitals and stuff and you just reflect i guess yeah, 100% especially the the fact that your character and you know how you said people don't care about who you are as a person they care about what you do mm. and stuff um that holds true but like deep down like say say um, um someone is a, like i don't know like a super consultant or whatever and has all these titles and whatnot if that person is a horrible person like he's not very li- like likable they, they will not like him anyway mm. so like yeah. it's like w- we take good character and and being polite as a for granted, mm. and we want to aim for, for a lot higher, basically. So, good character, well, I, it, it, it definitely uh, efforts definitely account for akhirah. Mm. Good character helps you in both both worlds, and um, that's something people need to um, understand and realize. What about you, Sally? Hundred um, percent. You know, you know, they, they, they say hindsight is twenty twenty. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's really easy to, to to look back now. And be like, ah, you know, when I was 20, 21, 22, ah, I should have done this, should have done that, should have done this. But, you know, it wasn't that long ago, you know, and it was, it was, I can still remember, and I'm sure a lot of people, you know, in that age have a similar feeling, and even a little bit older, that feeling of the thing that you're going through being the biggest thing. Oh, yeah. You know, and the heaviest thing, and being like the be all end all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, never mind 10 years, mm. even six months or a year later, mm. you look back and you realize, do you know what? It wasn't that serious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You realize, do you know what? I, I just built it up in my head. It wasn't as consequential yeah. as I expected it to be. And never mind just, uh, you know, having that experience, but even in, in like key milestones. Because you know we've all you know the, you know the tapestry of life being what it is, it's not a straight path. No, you know what I mean. Far, you know, there's left and turn, and there's you know there's peaks and troughs <laughs> and, and, and all the rest of it, and everything, and everything evolves. Hundred percent. Far, when you experience that, and when you reach certain milestones in life, and it happens or they happen to you in a way you don't expect or in a way that you don't plan for, uh, and you feel like oh. This isn't what I planned, or this isn't how I expected life to be like. Mm. Again, you look back and you're like, you know what? It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't that big. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't that big a deal. And I think, I think that that's a piece of advice I give to a lot of young people whenever they ask me, especially my siblings. Um, you know, whenever they think about doing something, maybe slightly outside the fold or mm. something that's going to delay them a little bit. Yeah. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, if I do this, but it's going to take me one extra year. I'm like, bro, one that extra. year don't mean nothing. Mean nothing. <laughs> in the grand scheme of things? It means nothing. Bro. Absolutely zero. Yeah. But in that moment, because it feels like the biggest thing. Yeah. 
Do you know what I mean? Because you feel like, oh, all my friends are gonna be, they're gonna be there, and I'm gonna be one year behind. It's the rat race. A hundred percent. It's the rat race. Do you know what I mean? So, and it's like sometimes, and well, like, that's the benefit of experience, and yeah. and that's the benefit of speaking to people mm. who, you know, they don't have to have, you know, gone uh, marathons beyond mm. you, but even some people who are just slightly ahead of you. Six months. Yeah, six months. Even, <laughs> well, like, even six months. Yeah, because I've gone through it. Their perspective is different. Mm. Their viewpoint is different. And the way they engage with that experience is different to you. Uh, whereas for you, it's all you can see. They've already gone past it. Yeah. So they can see, you know, the vantage that you don't, which is, uh, it's not that big. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know if you see that, you, you saw that little video on, um, uh, there's like, there's like a, there's like a baby, uh, there's a parent with a baby, mm. uh, and she's trying to put the baby into the water and he keeps, you know, keeping his legs up yeah, and crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shallow water. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, and then when he actually, uh, you know, forces his legs down and realizes it's shallow, yeah, yeah. it's not deep at all. Yeah, 100%. You know what I mean? So it's just in your head sometimes and you just need to, you need to push past it and you need to be able to, you, you need to, you need to operate sometimes in a way where you're not looking at the thing, you're looking through it. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's difficult to do, but if you're able to, you know, speak to people who have the experience, they're able, because I've gone through it, it's not, you're not looking into the unknown. You're looking into what they uh, can see, what, the, what, what they've seen. So that's been something of, you know what I mean, of being able to look back and be like, yo, listen, you know what I mean? If I could give a message to, to, to the younger me, it's, it's to be like, listen, you know, I, I, I really and truly kind of a, a little bit of what Fatah said about how um, you try to enjoy a bit more because it isn't the be all and all. Mm. You know what I mean? And all the, you know, all the lefts and rights and, and, and the highs and lows and all of it, that's part of the journey. And mm. wallahi, I genuinely, genuinely, it feels like I'm in a Hallmark movie, bro. Yeah, like a, like a <laughs> brother, like a, like one of the the cards. You know what I mean? Um, cliche cards mm. you give to me. I swear to you, genuinely, you have to go through it mm. to really appreciate when they say that it's about the journey. Absolutely, genuinely speaking, because all of us now, once upon a time, we dreamt about being where we are right now. For sure, alhamdulillah. Yeah? For sure. alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. Especially within our respective careers. Yeah. You know, you're both doctors with Lail and I'm, you know, in my industry, I'm, I'm very happy where I am right now. Alhamdulillah. Uh, and I know, I know for you lot, it's the same as it is for me. Absolutely. As much as we love doing the work that we're doing and being where we are, we can look back at it now and be like, yo, it wasn't everything we built up to be. 100%, yeah. Well, yeah. Definitely, bro. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. It's like at the end of the day, it's a vibe. It's amazing. It's a job. Yeah, it's a job. You understand? So it's like, you know, we're here now, but now we're already looking to the next uh, milestone. We're looking to the next target. You understand? So it's like, I, I, the idea of even being here was such an unfathomable thing. Yeah. And I was working so hard towards it mm. that I kind of dismissed or didn't really look at where I was at that time. Mm. And I wasn't really able to enjoy the process. So generally speaking, man, honestly, enjoy the process and, 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 and try to speak to people who have been, uh, who are going where you want to go, or who are where you want to be, or who are even ahead of you, Lord. Absolutely. It will change your perspective yeah. enormously. And just to add to that, it doesn't matter what your title is, Is what's important is how you use that title, you know what I mean? Um, it doesn't matter if you have 15 degrees or whatever you've done in the world, if, not, if, you, if you're not utilizing it, and especially for those of us who are Muslim, you know, you can just tweak your intention and and do things for the sake of uh, Allah absolutely. and and earn that extra, extra reward. reward you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, by do, by just helping people or just you know rectifying your intention and stuff. So that's important. It's not about what you do; it's about how, who you are as an individual and how you utilize who you are and what you what benefit you can give to the world. Do you know what I mean? And, and sometimes, yeah, and your intentions and and. You realize that more and more as as you get older, really. Yeah, because you know what I mean. We gotta stack the uh, stack the account in the dunya and also the akhirah. You mm. know what I mean. So you gotta do what you can. And w yeah, I was gonna get to that, but one is two things I want to say. Yeah, mm. especially the rat race um, phenomenon, which is something that the younger lot, I mean us lot, was when we mm. were younger, you go through school, primary school, secondary school, college, uni, like everybody's in like. Every year we go another step. Every year we go another step. So obviously, t going a year behind or taking a year out, ever makes you feel inadequate mm. or makes you feel like you're not um, going going to accomplish what you want to accomplish. 
and um, that in- initially is not a nice feeling. But you have to realize if the trajectory you're you're going is different to everyone else, but it's still something that you want to do, then that is your journey. Mm. You have to be comfortable with and okay with that. And even if it's a mistake, even if it's calm, like you will learn something from it, 100%. and it will and it will make you uh, like the people that we are today are a result of the failures that we went mm. through. Do you get it? Failure. Remember, son, man. Failure is not opposite of success. It's part of it. You know what I'm saying? You yes, like that yes, one, yeah? yes. Come on. Uh, Come <laughs> on. That's it. I think, you know, one of the main things that I've learned is like, don't let fear hold you back. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Uh, just get on with it. Do what you need to do. Enjoy the journey, like we said. And, you know, you will get there. The more you chase the goal, the more once you get there, you will think like, <laughs> is this what I've been chasing all along? You know what I mean? And the one thing you, you need to also realize is happiness is within. You know what I mean? Um, and I think a lot of people kind of mix up happiness with like illness. A lot of people talk about mental health these days. And uh, and I think Jabru and I, we, we've been working in the me- mental health sector for like six years whilst we were going to university. Yeah, yeah. And you see a lot of people mixing up the fact that they're not happy with illness. And they're two different things. Like it's okay not to be happy all the time. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, you will have periods where you're happy and you will have periods where you're not happy that's and that's okay. That's the norm. That's the norm. Right? Yeah. That's normal. Exactly. Yeah. And pe- people, people mistake, people mistake happiness for the end goal. Yes. It's not end goal. No. It's, just a, it's the feeling. Yeah. You know what I mean? What should drive you is purpose. Yes. Facts. Because purpose remains regardless of what happens. You know I mean? Regardless of the ups and downs and whatever transitory feelings you're feeling. Purpose is what will give you the, you know, the fuel to keep going regardless. You know what I mean? So, you know, we live in a society now where the, the, this idea of, 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 of happiness is held as the as the paradigm. Like if you know if it doesn't make you happy, if it doesn't make you happy, let it go. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it applies to your career, your relationships, you know what I mean? Or that's ridiculous. It is that, ridiculous. That's yeah. ridiculous. It's a ridiculous way to <laughs> to, to, to judge your uh, it's a ridiculous metric to try to judge anything by. You know what I mean? Because the, uh, so if so if happiness dips or if it's not there, you cut it out from your life. It don't make sense. So it, it, purpose, purpose above all else. If you right. can find purpose in your life, whatever that looks like, that will give you energy. That will give you fire and fuel to to live your life in a way that will give you meaning. Absolutely, you know? 100%. And, and that above all, above all else will remain and will you know help you through the most difficult times. A feeling isn't. Yeah, you know I mean? exactly. Yeah, it would never, it would never do. And if you're chasing happiness, it's, 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 not, it's not a good one. You're not, not going to reach people. it, man. Uh, and, and, and we have one ultimate purpose at the end of the day, yeah, you know absolutely. what I mean? Those of us who are uh, Muslim, M- Muslim, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, man, you know what, yeah? I've actually learned a lot from both of you today, man. Allah <laughs> Barak. And, uh, <laughs> and obviously, I think the younger selves, uh, younger versions of ourselves would definitely would have benefited from everything that we said today. And uh, you know what, like, um, and people, hopefully, hopefully you guys um, picked up on a few gems that Malak Salman and Fatah <laughs> said today. Allah and, and Jibril, of and course. And Jibril as well. Of course, Jibril. Yeah, yeah obviously, Sadaqah, always. <laughs> Bro, wallahi, that kills me. That I don't story. have the capacity to laugh anymore. Yeah, 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 obviously. Yeah. And, um, Let's be... Jibril's got a great heart, mashallah. <laughs> but, yeah, um... Thank you guys so much for tuning in um, to Scope again. And uh, it was wonderful being with you guys today. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, sir. And, and if you guys wouldn't give 90 pounds, I want to know in the comments how much you <laughs> would give. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm sure they'll give 100. And they'll give me. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. So let us know in the comments. It'd be lovely. <laughs> and uh, yeah, see you on the next one.